Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. In today's session, we are going to learn about Selenium. It is also an another important automation tool like UFT, which is used across many IT companies. In last few years, the domination of Selenium tool over the other automation tools is very high. The main reason behind this is, it's an open source tool, so we no need to pay for license. And also, we have a readily available framework in the market so we can freely download and use it for the automation project. Many of them have a wrong assumption or a mindset. We must know extreme programming knowledge to work on Selenium. But the real fact is, it is more than enough if you know the core Java or any other object oriented programming language. Today agenda, you can see it here. First, we will start with the introduction to Selenium. What is Selenium? It is a suite of software tools to automate web application across different operating systems and browsers. You can see some words are in uppercase. Just concentrate on those words alone. First one is suit. It means it is not a single tool. It is multi-tool, one or more. So depends on the project requirement, we will choose the tools. And second one, web in the bracket I have mentioned only. It means Selenium will support for only web based application. In case in your project, if you are using a window based application, then Selenium will not support for window based application. So always remember Selenium is only for the web based application. Third one, operating system. Selenium can also be used in Windows, Linux and Apple OS. And finally, different browsers. It will support for Firefox, Internet Explorer, Chrome, Opera and Safari. Hope you got an idea what is Selenium. Prerequisite. You should have a basic understanding of uh, Java or any other object oriented programming language. In addition to that, you should be well versed with the fundamentals of testing concept. In this tutorial, I'll be covering uh, core Java also. So you have to take care of fundamentals of testing concepts. Components of Selenium. I'll post another uh, detailed video about uh, Selenium components. For time being, just know the components name. It has four components. First one, Selenium IDE. Integrated Development Environment. It is a Firefox plugin. It is similar to record and playback method used in UFT. We can record the scenario and run it. And it is only used for Mozilla Firefox browser alone. Second one, Selenium RC. Nothing but Selenium Remote Control. It is for executing scripts written in any programming language using JavaScript. Third one, WebDriver. We'll be using Selenium WebDriver for our Selenium tutorial. It is for executing script in any programming language by directly communicating to the browsers. Finally, Selenium Grid, used for cross browser testing at the same time in the multiple browser. That is parallel execution. So we have totally four components. Selenium IDE, RC, WebDriver and Grid. Let us see the platform which it supports. First one is operating system. It supports for Microsoft Windows, Apple OS and Linux, which I already said. These are all the list of browsers which it supports. Firefox, Internet Explorer, Chrome, Opera and Safari. For example, you are creating an automation scenario using Chrome browser. The same code we can use it for other browsers also for the execution. The only difference is we have to write a separate code to launch each browser web driver. You will get more clarity while we do it practically. Totally Selenium supports for 7 languages Java, C Sharp, JavaScript, Perl, PHP, Python and Ruby. 
in case if you know any one of these language you can use it for selenium but I will be using Java for coding and uh, most of the project uses Java only because we have many online portal or a block support for Java so it will be easy for us to get some sample code also in case if we face any queries we can post in online forum and we will get many solutions for that so that is the only reason many of them using Java selenium license even though it's open source tool all the selenium project released under Apache 2 license and it's free of cost now you can see list of uh, advantages the first one which we already discussed it's an open source tool freeware and portable tool then it supports many operating system browser and programming languages then it supports for parallel test execution and the sixth one is very important point it uses very less CPU and RAM consumption for script execution but when we consider the same scenario in UFT the UFT consumes more CPU usage due to that the tool will get hang while execution and uh, the script will get failed but this issue will not happen in the selenium and seventh one it is integrated with the test ng framework so we no need to spend additional time for creating the frameworks just we will download and use it for our automation projects and it is integrated with the Jenkins for continuous integration now you can see uh, disadvantages here it supports only for the web based application and it doesn't support for the window based application there is no reliable support for selenium it means for UFT it's an HP product so we have the customer care support whenever we face an issue the HP company will help us for everything in the UFT but the selenium is an open source so we don't have any particular point of contact for uh, support then there is no centralized maintenance of object and like um, object repository mechanism and all it is not available in selenium then it is difficult to test image based application and uh, of course it is difficult to set up the environment then for report generation we have to depends on test ng or jenkins so there is no inbuilt feature to generate the report for knowledge purpose you must know the history of selenium in 2004 selenium was created by jason Higgins. then in 2006 selenium id was created and a selenium web driver was launched at google then at 2008 the whole selenium team decided to merge the selenium web driver and selenium rc in order to form a more powerful tool called selenium 2 that's the end of today's session Hope you got some idea about Selenium. In case of any clarification, you can post your queries in the comments or mail me. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.